J, Chai Suksuri, Product Specialist, ISS. Today I want to show you how to program Tools Talk 2. So let's go take a look. So we're going to talk about how to create a multi-step program. So similar to a two-step, three-step impulse program, you go to the upper right-hand corner, click Add, and select your strategy as multi-step. If you notice in multi-step, there's tightening and loosening because a multi-step is sort of a custom tightening program. So you might have to create a custom losing program as well and tie it to the tightening program. But we'll talk about that later. So I'm going to create a tightening program. I'm going to name it multi-step joint. Click add. Now. I've created a multi-step program. If you see there's an exclamation mark in properties on my maximum torque limit, you just want to give it a maximum torque. So there's a restriction on the program. And remember, I told you about we have to tie a losing program for multi-step to work. So this is where you have to tie that program. Now coming back to this multi-step. So we're going to create a joint conditioning program here. By doing a joint conditioning, I want to start from tightening to torque. Double click on the step and I say, I want to tighten to five Newton meters. And since this could be a stage where I'm creating threads, so I want to make sure it's slow at 60 RPM. That sounds great. And if you notice in a multi-step program that this might look confusing, you have monitors and restrictions. Monitor is, it will do the whole step and it will flag if this step was not okay or okay. A restriction is if it sees or hits that restriction, it will stop the tightening right away. For example, if you see this toolbox here, we have the different steps, we have the monitors, and we also have the restrictions. I say, if you found a rehit on this step at a detection torque of five Newton meters, you'll have to stop this program right away. Anyway, back to our um, steps. I'm gonna loosen out to an angle. And I say, we're gonna loosen 720 degrees right here I say 720 and I want to make sure this is a little bit faster because um, we're backing off for two cycles or you know two turns and since we're loosening here I'm not gonna have any monitors or restrictions and I'm gonna end my step with tightening to torque and if you notice when I drag this program here I can put it in between these steps or put it at the end. But in this case, it makes most sense to put it at the end because this is our real tiny step. I say, okay, we're gonna go to 15 Newton meters and 60 sounds slow enough. I could make it slower too if I want it to be more accurate. I could create, um, now since this is our end step, I'm gonna start, put some monitoring. I said, okay, flag this as not okay if the torque is lower than 12 and the high limit is it's not more than 18. I will also have um, angle monitoring and I said can you um, start trigger and start monitor my angle starting from 12 Newton meters and from that point because this is um, we still don't know how is the joint like. I'm just going to create a wide open angle limit and we're going to collect data and adjust this program later. So that's it on creating a multi-step and this is sort of um, a joint conditioning multi-step. You tighten in, you turn back for 720 degrees or two, two cycles and then um, you tighten it to the torque. So that's all. So that's it on this video for Tools Talk 2. I hope that was helpful. If you have any more questions, please contact your local LS Copco representative. Thanks for watching.